I think Sports Illustrated as a magazine is successful because sports stories are how we tell each other who we are, what our values are, what we care about, what makes us feel good, what makes us feel bad. Everything around conditioning and quality performance as it relates to medicine is crucial to understanding sports. Since I've been at Sports Illustrated, the big issue of course has been steroids and what that does to people who love the games, especially those who love baseball, and to younger people who are looking up to those athletes. These are all things to worry about. I think the greatest sports stories are about people who have, through their will and through their courage and through their spirit, have been able to rise above sports handicaps or come back from injuries. And those are the stories that resonate the most with Sports Illustrated readers. I think the Kevin Everett story is one of my favorite pieces. He received a spinal injury in the, that game in Buffalo on, a, I believe it was a kickoff return. The way this story unfolded, the way Kevin responded to treatment, the courage of his doctors resulted in what seems to be almost a full recovery. To see him walk out of his training room within two months of this injury was a wonderful thing. And that, and that story, as it appeared in Sports Illustrated, was one of the most popular things we did last fall. Arthur Ashe has an unmatched legacy at Sports Illustrated. From the very beginning, he stood up with a kind of transparency that allowed America to look at him as a great athlete and look at what he was facing and find courage in that. The way that plays out at Sports Illustrated is that people at the magazine were so moved by him and all of the complicated things that he ultimately stood for that he stands out as the sportsman of sportsmen. I was an athlete, I, I played a little football, I was once called the fastest of the slow, but I loved sports. And uh, I, like many people, I have the story about my grandfather buying me a subscription to Sports Illustrated when I was very, very young and reading it over the years. Within sports and sports journalism, there is the ability to do so many things, so I like my job.